Right, next up, bit of a tricky one with it being high, but we've gone for information. Do you know what I mean? I've always been a massive big believer in gaining as much information as in many ways as is possible. Yeah, and of course that can be a case of phoning as many people as possible before you actually uh, fish a match, go to a new venue, whatever, just so you've done your homework before you go, so you know the sort of what baits are winning matches, what weights are winning matches, whereabouts is winning matches, where you'd rather the draw. Which at the minute, it's so good. There's so many venues now that have a, quite a detailed uh, results section on their websites. I mean, it's so easy now to find out that information. It's definitely, it's worth doing anytime you're going to a venue, whether it be new or not, and it's something I do myself. But also when it comes to gathering information, I'm a big believer in watching everyone. I mean, I've spoke about this again many times before, and the amount of information I can sort of, I can gather by watching people and in turn it'll help me make decisions. So for me, during my matches, it's invaluable. You know, it's definitely won me who knows how many matches by seeing other people do certain things and it's helped me make that decision quicker. Whether it's coming down the edge at a certain time because other people are catching, fishing in a certain depth, employing certain methods, who knows. But so keeping your eyes open during a match, watching what everyone else is doing as, as, I mean, in your vicinity and as long as you feel that you're in a similar situation as them, there's no reason you can't employ those sorts of tactics, swap your match around to do something similar. I mean, and it gives you a better return just by watching what's going on. So gathering that information for me, it's probably the biggest thing in fishing for, for making my decisions as quick as possible and getting the job done.